half reaction method to balance redox reaction well i will teach you my personal trick which you will not find in any book or video firstly let me teach you that how can we find an oxidation state of an element in any molecule or ion for example consider this ion find the oxidation state of manganese in this ion well we already know that the oxidation state of oxygen in their compounds is negative 2 i write manganese plus 4 oxygen is equal to negative 1 because there is one manganese atom and there are four atoms of oxygen in this ion the total charge or net charge is negative 1 now i put the oxidation number of oxygen in this equation i write manganese plus 4 into negative 2 is equal to negative 1 i get manganese minus 8 is equal to negative 1 after calculation i get manganese is equal to positive 7 thus the oxidation state of manganese is positive 7 in this ion secondly consider this ion find the oxidation state of carbon well i write 2 carbon plus 4 oxygen is equal to negative 2 because there are two atoms of carbon and there are four atoms of oxygen and the net charge on this atom is negative 2 now i put the oxidation number of oxygen in this equation i write 2 carbon plus 4 into negative 2 is equal to negative 2 I get 2 carbon minus 8 is equal to negative 2. After calculation, I get carbon is equal to positive 3. Hence, the oxidation state of a single carbon is positive 3. Here, remember this very very important point: the oxidation state of a single carbon atom is positive 3. But we can see that there are two atoms of carbon. so the oxidation state of two carbon is positive 6 let me repeat it the oxidation state of a single carbon is positive 3 but we can see that there are two atoms of carbon so the oxidation state of two carbon is positive 6 thus by this way we can easily find the oxidation state of any element now i will teach you half reaction method to balance redox reaction when there is no oxygen atom remember that all these reactions occur in acidic medium consider this reaction we can see that there is no oxygen atom present in this reaction remember that when oxidation number increases it is oxidation when oxidation number decreases it is reduction here the oxidation state of zinc in free state is zero and that of silver is also zero we can see that the oxidation state of zinc increases from zero to positive 2 hence zinc is oxidized because it loses two electrons secondly the oxidation state of silver decreases from 1 to 0 hence silver is reduced because it gains one electron now the trick is to cross multiply the number of electron lost and the number of electrons gained i mean in oxidation there are two electrons i multiply reduction by 2 hence i put 2 with this silver and 2 with this silver secondly in reduction there is one electron i multiply oxidation by 1 hence i put 1 with this zinc and 1 with this zinc usually we do not try it one as a coefficient with reactants and products now i write the oxidation reaction and reduction reaction we can see that zinc is oxidized i write zinc and zinc positive 2 ion we already know that zinc loses two electrons i write two electrons at the right hand side secondly we can see that silver is reduced i write to silver ion and to silver we know that one silver gains one electron there are two silver atoms 
hence two silver gains two electrons. I write two electrons at the left hand side. Now these two electrons and these two electrons cancel out. I get zinc plus two silver ion and zinc plus two ion plus two silver. This is the complete half reaction method to balance a redox reaction. Hence note it down. Now consider this redox reaction. We know that the oxidation state of aluminium in free state is zero and that of copper is also zero. We can see that the oxidation state of aluminium increases from zero to positive three. Hence aluminium loses three electrons. Secondly, the oxidation state of copper decreases from positive two to zero. Hence copper gains two electron. Now I use the trick. I cross multiply the number of electrons. In the oxidation, there are three electrons. I multiply reduction by three. Hence I put three with this copper and this copper. Secondly, in the reduction, there are two electrons. I multiply the oxidation by two. Hence I put two with this aluminium and this aluminium. Now I write the oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction. We can see that aluminium is oxidized. I write two aluminium and two aluminium plus three iron. We know that one aluminium atom loses three electrons. Then two aluminium atoms lose six electrons. I write here six electrons. Secondly, we can see that copper is reduced. I write three copper positive two iron and three copper. We know that one copper gains two electrons, then three copper atoms gains six electrons. I write here six electrons. These six electrons and these six electrons cancel out. I get two aluminium plus three copper positive two ions and two aluminium plus three ions plus three copper. This is the complete balanced redox reaction by half reaction method. Thus note it down this important redox reaction. Now I will teach you the trick of balancing redox reaction by half reaction method when there is oxygen atom. Well, I follow these two steps. Find the oxidation number and balance the number of oxygen atoms. For example, consider this reaction. We know that the oxidation state of zinc in the free state is zero. What about the oxidation state of bromine? Well, I find it. I write bromine plus three oxygen is equal to negative one. Our bromine plus three and to negative two is equal to negative one. After calculation, I get bromine is equal to positive five. Hence, oxidation number of bromine is positive five. Now we can see that the oxidation state of zinc increases from zero to positive two. Hence, zinc is oxidized and it loses two electrons. While the oxidation state of bromine decreases from positive five to negative one. Hence, bromine is reduced and it gains six electrons. Because positive five minus n to minus one is equal to six electrons. So bromine loses six electrons. Here, the number of lost of electrons is two and the number of gained of electrons is six. We can simplify these numbers of electrons. Two by two is equal to one electron. Six by two is equal to three electrons. Now I use the trick. I cross multiply the number of electrons. In the oxidation, there is one electron. I multiply reduction by one. We already know that we cannot put one as a coefficient. Secondly, in the reduction, there are three electrons. I multiply oxidation by three. Hence, I put three with this sink and with this sink. Now I write the oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. We can see that zinc is oxidized. I write three zinc and three zinc positive two iron. We know that 
one zinc loses two electrons, then three zinc loses six electrons. Secondly, we can see that bromine is reduced. I write BrO3 negative ion and Br negative ion. Now I will balance the number of oxygen atoms. And this BrO3, there are three atoms of oxygen. While at the right hand side, there is not a single atom of oxygen present. Now listen carefully. To balance oxygen atoms, I put three water molecule at the right hand sides. Secondly, I double the number of water molecule. The double of three is six. I put six hydrogen ions at the left hand side. Hence, oxygen atoms are balanced. We know that one bromine loses six electrons. Here is also one bromine. So it also loses six electrons. Now these six electrons and these six electrons cancel out. I get three zinc plus BrO3 plus six hydrogen ions and three zinc positive two ion plus bromine ion plus three H2O. This is the complete balanced redox reaction by half reaction method. Hence note it down. Now consider this reaction in acidic medium. Firstly, I will find the oxidation state of manganese in this ion. We have already calculated the oxidation state of manganese. It is positive 7. Secondly, I find the oxidation state of carbon in this ion. We know that it is positive 3. Thirdly, I will find the oxidation state of carbon in carbon dioxide. I write carbon plus 2 oxygen atoms is equal to 0. Our carbon plus 2 n to negative 2 is equal to 0. I get carbon is equal to positive 4. Hence the oxidation state of carbon in carbon dioxide is positive 4. We can see that the oxidation state of manganese decreases from positive 7 to positive 2. It is reduced and it gains 5 electrons. While the oxidation state of carbon increases from positive 3 to positive 4, it is oxidized. Remember that here students do a blunder. They say that carbon loses one electron only. It is totally wrong. One carbon loses one electron, but here are two carbon atoms. Hence, two carbon atoms lose two electrons. Thus, remember this very very important point. Now, I cross multiply the number of electrons. I write here 5 and I write 2 here. I put 5 with this C2O4. Now, 5 and 2, 2 is equal to 10. At the left hand side, there are 10 carbon atoms. So, I put 10 with this carbon. Hence, carbon atoms are balanced. Secondly, I put 2 with this MnO4 and with this Mn. Hence, manganese atoms are also balanced. Now, I write the oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. We can see that carbon is oxidized. I write 5C2O4 and 10 carbon dioxide molecules. We know that one ion of C2O4 loses two electrons, then five ions of C2O4 lose 10 electrons. I write here 10 electrons. Secondly, we can see that manganese is reduced. I write 2 MnO4 and 2 Mn plus 2 ion. Now at the left hand side, 4 into 2 is equal to 8. There are 8 atoms of oxygen present. While at the right hand side, there is no atom of oxygen present. For this 8 oxygen atoms, I put 8 molecules of water. I double this number 8, which is 16. Hence, I put 16 hydrogen ions at the left hand side. We know that 1 MnO4 ion loses 5 electrons, then 2 ions of MnO4 loses 10 electrons. I write here 10 electrons. Now these 10 electrons and these 10 electrons cancel out. I get 2 MnO4 plus 5 C2O4 plus 16 hydrogen ions 
एन टू एम एन प्लस टेन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्लस एट एच टू ओ दिस इज द कम्प्लीट बैलेंस रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन बाई हाफ रिएक्शन मैथड दिस नोटेड डाउन दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन नो आई विल टीच यू बैलेंसिंग रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन इन बेसिक मीडियम बाई हाफ रिएक्शन मैथड रिमेंबर दैट फर्स्टली I will balance it in the acidic medium. Lastly, I will balance it in the basic medium. For example, consider this reaction. We know that the oxidation state of manganese in this MnO4 ion is positive seven, while in this ion the oxidation state of manganese is positive four, and that of iodine is zero in its free state. We can see that. The oxidation state of manganese decreases from positive seven to positive four, hence it is reduced, and it loses three electrons. While the oxidation state of iodine increases from negative one to zero, hence it is oxidized. Remember that in the product there are two iodine atoms, or one molecules of iodine. Hence this iodine will lose two electrons. to form one iodine molecule now i cross multiply the number of electrons lost and the number of electrons gained i put two with this mno4 and two with this mno2 remember that in case of molecules like iodine molecule i firstly put three here now two and to three is equal to six thus i put six with this iodine ion Now I will write the oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. We can see that iodine is oxidized. I write six iodine and three iodine molecules. We know that one iodine atom loses one electron, then six iodine atom lose six electrons. I put here six electrons. Secondly, we can see that manganese is reduced. I write two MnO4. And two MnO two. I will balance the oxygen atoms. At the left hand side, four and two two is equal to eight. There are eight atoms of oxygen. While at the right hand side, two and two two is equal to four. There are four atoms of oxygen. I need four more atoms of oxygen to balance it. To do so, I put four molecules of water. I double the number of four, and it is eight. Hence, I put eight hydrogen ions here. We know that one MnO4 ion loses three electrons, then two MnO4 ions lose six electrons. Now these six electrons and these six electrons cancel out. I get two MnO4 plus six iodine ion plus eight hydrogen ion and two MnO2 plus three iodine molecule. Plus four water molecules. This is the complete balanced redox reaction in the acidic medium. Now I will convert it to the basic medium. To do so, I just follow two steps. I shift eight hydrogen ions to the right hand side and replace it by eight hydroxide ions. While I shift four molecules of water to the left hand side. Let me repeat it. I shift eight hydrogen ions to the right hand side and replace it by eight hydroxide ions while I shift four molecules of water to the left hand side thus I write 2 MnO4 plus 6 iodine ions I shift four molecules of water and I write here four molecules of water secondly I write 2 MnO2 plus 3 iodine molecules plus I shift eight hydrogen ions and I replace it by eight hydroxide ions. This is the complete balanced redox reaction in the basic medium by half reaction method. Thus, note down this important reaction.